Hey everybody, this is Jackie Angel with Ascension Presents. Today, we're gonna to talk about, is it possible to forgive and forget? So many of you have heard the phrase, forgive and forget. I know because my mother always said that when we were at, oh, forgive and forget. And it was interesting because as I was reading the catechism, I ran across a paragraph that basically talks about forgiving and forgetting. And here's what it says. It's in 2843 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It says, it is in fact in the depths of the heart that everything is bound and loosed. It is not in our power not to feel or to forget an offense. It's not in our power to forget. If somebody has hurt us. And for some of you watching, you have been hurt in crazy ways from abuse to someone abandoning you or betraying you. You know, if someone has violated you or hurt you, you know, it's not possible to forget. You cannot forget that situation. And so the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, it's not in our power not to feel or forget an offense, but the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns injury into compassion and purifies the memory in transforming the hurt into intercession. Whoa, whoa, let's go over this because this whole section is about when we pray the Our Father and we say, forgive us as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Now that is a dangerous prayer. When you and I pray the Our Father, we are asking God to forgive us to the extent that we have forgiven somebody else. So if we have not forgiven somebody, because we are called to forgive as God has forgiven us. So the, the paragraph, a couple paragraphs earlier in 2840, it says, now, and this is daunting, this outpouring of mercy cannot penetrate our hearts as long as we have not forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Love, like the body of Christ, is indivisible. We cannot love the God we cannot see if we do not love the brother or sister we do see. In refusing to forgive our brothers and sisters, our hearts are closed and their hardness makes them impervious to the Father's merciful love. But in confessing our sins, our hearts are open to his grace. But then a couple paragraphs later it says, but it's not... It's not in our power not to feel or forget an offense, but the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns this hurt, this injury into compassion. What does that mean? That means that when we turn our hearts to the Holy Spirit, we can see the person who hurt us the way that God sees them. You guys, I deal with so many young women who have been violated who have been abused. I My husband works in an all boys school, has worked with young men who have been abused. And you guys, it, oh, I, it is such an awful, awful thing. And some of you watching this have experienced this. Um, and that, it's a painful thing. But when you, when you forgive, when you turn yourself to the Holy Spirit, you can see the pain of the person who is the abuser that they were not loved as they should have been loved. And, and you can see, man, they are broken. They are really broken. And they did this because they didn't know how to love. So when you ask God, when you ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come into my heart that has this hurt and this pain that has been violated, that has, something has been taken away from me. God allows you to have compassion on that person, to forgive that person. I mean, look at the people who... Um, have forgiven, look at the people who have forgiven a murderer. I think of St. Maria Goretti, her mother. How can you forgive the man that murdered your daughter? He was about to rape her and he murdered her. He stabbed her. She was only 12. And you think for that mother to forgive, she said, if Maria has forgiven you, I forgive you. I can't even imagine. We are called to forgive. We are not called to forget. We are not called to not feel because we are humans. We, we feel even Jesus wept. He felt deeply. So it's okay to feel, but every time you feel that hurt, we aren't called to hold these grudges and to be weighed down by what someone else has done to us. We are called to be free, Whew, to be free. God wants you to be free. And if you have been holding a grudge, if you have been weighed down by what someone has done to you, God wants you to be free. He wants you to forgive because forgiving them doesn't mean what they did was okay. What it means 
is that you give that person to God to be dealt with in his mercy, his justice, so that you can be free, so that you can be healed, your body, your mind, your memories, that that can be healed. So what the catechism is saying is that turn, turn to the Holy Spirit who turns injury into compassion and then purifies the memory in transforming that hurt into intercession. What? Pray for that person. Pray for that person every time you think of them, every time you think of what that person has done to you, pray for them. And for me, the easiest, I just say Hail Mary because I know that person is a child of God and that person, Mama Mary loves them too. And she's going to pray for them maybe the way that we cannot because it hurts too much. Oh, Mother Mary who watched her son be murdered in front of her eyes and she who could love even those people who did that. Mama Mary, pray for us. So for all of you watching, I, I pray that this helped you, to help you intercede for the person who has hurt you and that you can see yourself the way that God sees you and that you can see that person how God sees you. Amen. We hope to see you next time on Ascension Presents. God bless you.